you too. Welcome to the whole Woody Car Channel. Welcome back to the Coyote Car Channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to paint prep and paint an engine block. So the first thing you need to know is what you can and what you cannot paint. So you cannot paint any of this area here with conventional motor paint. And the reason being is that oil needs to flow through these areas. And on these areas here, you need to have a clean sealing surface. It's okay to paint back here on this area. And the main areas that are painted are these side areas. You want to plug these holes because water flows through those. And as long as you're not shooting it directly in these holes, you should be fine. You don't want to paint anything down here on the bottom. Any of these flat areas. So you want to tape all this off, especially the bearing areas. And this, just like the other side, you can paint. But you want to plug up those holes where the water flows through. And then where you're mechanical fuel pump can go, you'll want to tape this area off too. You don't want to get paint down in there. As far as on the back, you don't want to paint up in there. And I don't know why you would. You're not going to see it. Um, if you are, you're going to want to tape off the holes or plug the holes so you don't get any paint in them. As far as the front of the engine goes, you can paint this area here. You want to plug this hole. You do not want to paint on this area because this is a sealing surface for your water pump here and here. So you want to tape off these areas around here all the way down. You don't want to get any paint in here. You want to tape off this area here running up and around, down and over. And I'm pretty sure this is a given. You want to clean the engine block thoroughly. You want to scrape all the surfaces, knock out all the plugs, and wash it, or take it to have it tanked. And then what you want to do is once you've gotten all the grime and all that leftover oil sediment, is you want to take some mineral spirits and clean paper towels and you want to wipe down the surface everywhere that you're going to paint and tape. The reason why you want to wipe down where you're going to tape is there might still be some residue left over from where you had cleaned before and the tape won't stick to it. So this ensures a tight seal on the tape and it ensures a clean surface for the paint to adhere to. Then, once you've done all that, you want to go back through and wipe every surface that you just wiped. Make sure you get all of the mineral spirits off of the block. If you don't want any mineral spirits, it will cause your paint to run. Cause your tape to not stick. go through and wipe the whole block all the way down. Just like that. And then, once you've got that all done, Take some masking tape, 
I like to go to Walmart and get the decent stuff. Dollar store stuff doesn't seem to want to stick all the time. You start masking off these areas, you need masks. So I always line everything out, and then I add paper in between so that way I don't use a whole bunch of tape and run out. So I do lines to sort of line out the areas that I want to paint. So once you have everything completely lined out, like this, and you've got everything outside the area that you're going to tape, you can remove all the excess tape that you don't need. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. Most of it you'll be able to get by with the way I showed in my quick tip on how to remove or perfectly mask engine parts, but the rest of the time it's pretty much going to be a lot of this. The most important part painting an engine, or painting anything for that matter, is the preparation stage. Painting is 95% preparation work, 5% painting. Now that you've got all the edges masked out, now you need to paper in the inside. That, that way you don't waste too much tape. I found that this doctor's bed paper works great. So what I do, take a piece, rip it off, fold it, what you do is kind of, you just want to form it to the inside of there, so it'll barely fit inside area that you're wanting. So you find one line, get your tape, get a piece of tape out, set it close by because you're going to need it handy, and get your first line onto your masked area. Then take another piece of tape, not quite that much. And do the same thing. So you're just gonna mask it in the area that you've already masked to your edges. Take another piece. Now we have to roll this. Now we have to roll this piece in some, so it'll fit. Bring the tape down it. Rip off the excess that you don't need, or tape it down. Whatever you need to do. So this is what it looks like when I've got it all taped up and all the water jackets plugged up. So it's pretty much ready to paint at this point. All we have to do now is just to put some paper in the back. Like I said, I don't like to paint that area at all. The final step of the project is to paint it. You want to do light, even coats approximately 12 to 10 inches away. and then let the first coat dry. And we'll work on coat number two. This coat can be a little bit heavier than the first coat.
at this point you can actually pull off all the tape. see what you're left with, if you're careful. Just like Christmas? And this is what we came out with, a fully painted engine. Now we just have to let it set for 24 hours or a day. And please, 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 don't be afraid to comment, like, and subscribe.